Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, guys. I've not had much time to actually sit down and do anything, so this is a nice surprise, but uh, I guess we'll talk about that in a second. I'm just gonna go see and look, see if there's another daily map. There is! <gasps> Hooray! I forget if it's like 14 parts. I think it's 14 parts, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do these real quick while we talk. And then we're gonna talk about the new banner that's out right now. Yeah, there's a new banner. That's because there is a new Tempest Trial, even if it's a miniature one coming out, so yeah. Um, a lot of crazy stuff going on, but I'm sure you've already known about that. If you didn't already know, there's a Mini Tempest Trial coming out, I believe, on the 8th, which is Friday, this weekend. So, of course, we're going to be getting the uh, Tempest Trial banner coming out as well. And as well as a lot of other stuff, I've been working on my Ennis. Um, coming along well enough, uh, he, he's working on getting his Brave Bow up to plus right now, but yeah. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Defense ploy finally has a use, guys. It's on anus. 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 Sanus. Insanus. That's my, that's my current thing. But anyways, I am getting five orbs because I want to roll for a few things and I don't have time nor money to do anything else right now. So that's a time. That's something for another video, actually. But anyways, um, hope you guys are all having fun and enjoying the double SP, double EXP event. So, be, well, because there's a lot of fun things going on over there, isn't there? Um, yeah, I mean, nothing too crazy. But, uh, let's, let's just take a look at what's going on here. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't get the, uh, daily orbs from there. Boop. My mistake. Alrighty. We have five orbs. Great. But let's talk about what's the real meat and potatoes of this update. <laughs> yep, that's right, guys. It's another focus on Tempest Trials, but mainly, there are some pretty powerful characters here. Um, so let's go over why you would want to pull them, as if I really had to tell you. So, click more info, and let's just see if this can actually load up. So, first up is Hector. Do I really need to tell you why you want Hector? Really? I mean, if you missed out on the last banner, where he was part of the uh, actual, <laughs> actual, uh, you know, gauntlet, which I think it ended actually. I think it might be over. But if you didn't already get that, you have another chance at him. Mainly, the main attractions here are Armands, uh, Armads, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, it is Quick Repose Two in a weapon form plus 16 might. So when he gets attacked, he will, you know, he gets attacked, he will double up on them, which is great for him. Definitely fun, and of course, Distant Counter, which I'm pretty sure you guys know by now what Distant Counter does. It's in the name. If any ranged attacker actually hits him or tries to attack him at all, he will uh, fight back. No matter the range. Next up is Ninian! Um, oh boy, Ninian. Does this mean that all of these characters are going to be a part of the Tempest Trials? If so, that means I can grind a lot of SP for Hector. Yes, and Ninian as well. Uh, so Ninian is a fantastic unit because, well, a few things. One, I, I know a lot of people wanted to make a dragon emblem team, and of course she's that, but also she's a dancer, which is something that's a bit of a rarity. Uh, we only have three of them in the game right now, and two of them are locked behind a five-star, you know, gateway, basically, just a huge gate. Uh, outside of Olivia, you of course have Azura and Ninian, and Ninian's right here. She's a fantastic dancer, more supporty kind of thing. Um, probably pretty interesting if you decide to build her. I personally, I went with Triangle Adept and gave her Wings of Mercy or whatever it's called, the one thing from Kane and some other stuff. But basically, yeah, Ninian and Hector are the main attractions here. But there's also Ellie Wood. He's a pretty nice unit himself. Durandal is, of course, his uh, own weapon. Grants him plus four attack during counter, um, during combat. Ugh, if can't raid if not combat initiates attack. Uh, combat mm, unit initiates attack. Uh, boy, I can't talk today. I'm out of it. But anyways, those leaks just really. <laughs> but mostly he does have ward cavalry and a lot of other fun stuff. He's not exactly the best, but he is competing with Lin, who is actually pretty interesting as a unit. Sulcati is pretty nice. Um, you know, that's that's a nice thing to have. I forget which one actually has great. What skill actually has a really nice fusion with Lin, if I recall correctly. Let me pull that up real quick, because I know you're going to hear me tippity-typing real quick, because uh, I want to make sure I have this. 
if I recall. I think it was Brash Assault, because with Brash Assault, she can just... Yeah. It's a... It, it, Brash Assault works really well with her. It fuses well with Sulcati, from what I recall. Um, and that's always fun, I think. Uh, sorry, I'm just out of it right now. Um, good lord, so... Yep. And then that's pretty much all that we have here. Personally, if I were any of you, I would probably be going after Hector or Nemean. Those are both pretty nice things to have. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and Lynn's always cool. I'm sure a lot of people are really excited for Lynn. It's really odd to have Hector and, I believe, Lynn pop back up, like, right after they were done with their banner summons from the Gauntlet, but, I mean, I'm not really going to be the one to complain here, right? So, anyways, let's try our hand at summoning and see what we get. Eh, okay, well, not much of a choice. We have, they have no color list, we have a blue. Honestly, I'll just go with a blue. I mean, I as much as I would like a Lynn, I already have a few of her. Nothing too crazy, but, you know. So let's see what we get! Yay! It's a May. She's a bundle of energy. I already have quite a few of you, but uh, I don't mind having another. So I'm going to leave that. And honestly, pretty great team. Or at least Banner to pull from there. God, they've been pulling a lot of great ones out. I'm kind of worried about the next one. Um, I will probably roll an Ephraim later, but right now let's see what the appearance rates on this are. 375. I'm still going to go with this and try to get Roy. See if we can't get a, our boy going on a little bit there, shall we? And, yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll get one. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha! No, that's not funny. That's a fear. Great. Well, that's pretty much all I really thought would happen there. Um, so, let's just go check in on the arena right now and see what's going on, shall we? Or the voting gauntlet. I keep calling it arena. It's the voting gauntlet. Derp the derp derp derp. Let's see how everyone's doing. I, I have not been able to participate too much, but at least Ike is in the lead right now. That's a plus side. 19 hours to go, guys. Hopefully, we can do this. I'm going to try and battle a bit, see what happens. I'm going to bring Ennis along, and hopefully we can uh, have some what fun here. I That's do? a chemist. I mean, like... Ah, oh, dang it. Your plan? Uh, my plan is to mess that up. I was hoping I could bait the soccer into attacking Camus. Understood. Come on down. It's your turn on the price is right. Just try to attack Camus. Thank you. And probably die. Yep. No surprise there. Guys, d d I hate to sound rude, but usually you don't want to put in a healer. Like, a healer is not a good idea to bring into this kind of group. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll take care of that, because I'm more worried about Erica than our mage friend over there. Um, and I should be able to at least take a hit reliably well and kill her. Okay, good. So, yeah, that, that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even use the Robin. Oh, well... So yeah, let's let's pledge our allegiance to to the uh, to the Ike, and hope that he wins this. Because uh, good lord, we'll be discussing more of that nonsense later on. But man, people were all sorts of crazy over this nonsense. But still, anyways, I did my thing. I'm gonna get more flags and really bust my ass to get some more out there. I mostly spent a lot of my uh, stamina leveling up other units though, but. Yeah, Ike is, Ike is putting up a good fight. I think that's, uh, that's a good thing. I'm hoping that people are... I mean, <laughs> are we not gonna... Uh, if we don't get our, uh, you know, actual male... Our male uh, hero to actually win the one, the premium male, you know, character that everyone always goes, Oh my god, it's Ike. Then I don't know who can win. Because if Camilla wins this, that pretty much just tells me that... Uh, if there's ever a female in the gauntlet, the female's going to win. Probably because there's more male male uh, players than female, but I could be wrong. Or maybe some females really like Camilla, too. I can't really tell you too much, but uh, I'm just going to get my uh, crystals. Cool. Yay. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to be doing with Roy, because I do have another Roy that I need to build up. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great time. I'll see you all very soon. Love you guys, and also, wait, one last thing. Hmm. I'm gonna uh, make sure to do the special daily maps, of course. Uh, and again, 
double XP and double SP. You really have no excuse to do it, especially with the uh, Tempest Trials coming up that start before this end, and that's going to be even more SP. We don't even know who the units are, so yeah, be ready. <laughs> For now, though, guys, I will catch you all on the flip side.